Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to help you resolve a Windows PowerShell error you're coming across and you're trying to run a command versus that the file cannot be loaded because running scripts is disabled on the system. So, by nature of this error, we're going to actually have to enable scripts on our. So, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and start by opening up the start menu. Go ahead and lock on the start button one time. Type in Windows PowerShell. Best match to come back on Windows PowerShell. You want to go right click on that and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on Yes. Now I'm going to have a few commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy each one one at a time. First one's going to start with a get execution policy. So we're going to just copy from my description. Go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window. Right click on it one time. And then left click on edit. And then left click on paste to paste it in here. So at this point you would see in the right column here it would say restricted perhaps so in order to unrestrict it we would go ahead and just copy in my second command go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window this one starts with set by the way SET and you go up to the top of the Windows PowerShell window right click on it left click on edit and then left click on paste hit enter your keyboard to run that so please know you're gonna get a little notification here saying the execution policy helps protect you from scripts Changing the execution policy might expose you to risk described in the About Execution Policies help topic at Microsoft.com. Do you want to change the execution policy? So at this point, you want to just type Y to say yes to all the messages. If you want to just say yes to individual messages, you type A. Type L for no, but we want to enable this, so we're going to type the Y key on our keyboard. Please note, you're very much welcome to turn it off once you're done. So once you run the script and you want to turn this off, you can run this command again and then just type the end key and that would turn it off. So just keep that in mind, it's not permanent here. So once you type Y, I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. Now that you're done that, I'm going to have one more command in the description of the video. So copy that, go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window, right click on it, left click on edit and then paste that in. Hit enter on your keyboard, and then that should hopefully be about it. So you can close out of the Windows PowerShell window at this time. I don't believe you need to restart your computer. You can if you want to, but I do not believe that is required. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.